Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And as you probably know by now, iOS 13.4 and iPad OS 13.4 have been released, bringing a ton of new features to the iPhone and the iPad. Now, especially on the iPad, we have the new cursor features that Apple has brought with iOS and iPad OS 13.4 bringing a ton of new features to the cursor, basically to your mouse or your trackpad that you use with your iPad, making it feel more like the Mac cursor and of course having all those awesome features and making it way more useful than it used to be before. So in this video, I will show you guys a few very important tips and tricks that you need to know regarding the new cursor on iOS 13.4 course these tips and tricks will help you perform a lot of things faster and easier on your iPad using the new cursor features with iOS and iPadOS 13.4 so let's get started I hope you guys enjoy the video so let's get started with the home screen now we have a few basic gestures that you need to know for the home screen so first of all going to the app switcher now all you gotta do is just drag the cursor down here now once you drag it down there just push a bit more like this and you will open the app switcher so just like this just a simple gesture just push all the way down and you will be able to open the app switcher so just like that you will open the app switcher once you're on the app switcher of course you can click on any of the apps to open them or if you want to completely close one of them just hover over the card here tap and hold and just push it like that now from the home screen you can of course also use the 3d touch menu so if you want to use the 3d touch menu of any of the apps on the home screen you just put the cursor over the icon and right click on it and you will have the 3d touch menu of that app and then of course you can go ahead and use any of the buttons right there now from the home screen we can have access to the control center and notification center as well now there are two ways on doing that on both of them for the notification and the control center so you want to go to the notification center what we want to do is just drag the cursor right there at the time you can see how it will expand there just click on the time and it will open the notification center or you can just drag the cursor right up there so just drag it without stopping there just push it on the corner and it will open the notification center now you want to go to the control center you will have the same basically for that as well so you place the cursor right there on the battery you tap there it opens the control center or you can just push it right there as you did with the notification center and you will get the same result you will still get the control center right there now of course you can expand on any of the toggles here on the control center so if you want to go let's say to the wi-fi and all these settings here just tap on the middle there and then you will see all the buttons here now if you want to expand those so you know with iOS 13 and iPad OS 13 you have now the ability to switch between Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth devices directly from the control center so if you want to do that you want to expand that just go ahead hover over the button and just right click on it and it will give you all the options that you need so you can go ahead and switch between the networks and the Bluetooth devices directly from here. Now, while you're within an app, you can still go to the home screen in a few different ways. So what you want to do is just drag the cursor right here at the bar and click on it and it will take you to the home screen. Or you can just drag and push your cursor right there. So just like you did with the notification center and the control center, just drag and push here and you will be able to go to the home screen as easy as that. Now, if you want to go to the app switcher directly from an app, what you want to do is just put the cursor right here on the home bar press on it and just drag it like this and release it here so don't drag it all the way up just release it here in the middle and from an app you will go to the app switcher now on the home screen you can also rearrange icons using your cursor and that will be very simple so all you gotta do is just hover over one of the icons here and click on the 3d touch menu you can as, as i said launch it by using the right click right click on an icon to show the 3d touch menu click edit home screen and then all you gotta do here is just tap on an app hold the cursor just basically drag the app anywhere you want and you can release it right there so as easy as that you can go ahead and just edit your icons place them anywhere you want on the home screen now when using an app you can of course open the dock using the cursor so all you gotta do is just place the cursor down here don't push it just place it down here at the bottom and you will see the dock will show up 
and you can use any of the icons from here. Now what you can do here is just tap on one of the icons and just drag it right here and you can still place it on the split screen or you can just use it as an app card right here. So of course you can have it here and you can remove it. You can see you can just basically take the home bar right there of any of these and just use them whenever you want. So what you want to do here when you hide an app card is just go with this basically with a cursor right there. So you can see just place the cursor here on the side and just push it. And it will show you all the cards that you have hidden right there. And of course you can go ahead and use them from there. Now on the apps while you're on apps like on Safari or browsing or somewhere, you can still use the right click to show the 3D touch menu. So here I have a bunch of links here at the top. Now if I want to open one of them, I don't want to open it here. I want to have options so I can right click on it and I will of course get all the different options here that I can open it on the background, a new window and all that stuff. Now, one of the cool things that you can do with the mouse, of course, one of the most like features that are maybe underrated, but it's very useful is the ability to use the scroll wheel to quickly just scroll on any web page. Now you can do that with your mouse, of course, using the scroll wheel, or if you're using a trackpad, you can do that by just using your two fingers. So scroll up, scroll down using two fingers, on the trackpad and you can of course use the scroll wheel here on any of the mouses that you might have connected the bluetooth mouses that you use with your ipad now what you can also do is use the scroll bar that you get on ios so if you want to quickly scroll on any web page what you need to do is just tap on the scroll bar right there just tap and hold it hold the key here on the mouse and then you can just drag it quickly like that to go ahead and scroll on any web page or basically any content on any app that you want. You can of course use the new cursor to select text easily. So you can see here the cursor is basically a circle now that represents the touch of a finger but if you just place it on a text you can see it will turn into basically a line which is the cursor that you can move anywhere and place anywhere on a text you want. So you can see once you tap there it will show you the keyboard if you don't have a physical keyboard installed. So basically you can select text simply by tapping on the key, the left key, just hold it and just drag the cursor like this to select any text you want. And you can then go ahead and just tap with the right click if you just want to add, basically show the menu. So just select text, right click, and you will get all the different options from cut to copy paste. You can edit the text and you have all that stuff as well. Now you can also quickly start selecting here. So if I'm at a row of text here, I want to start selecting, I can just put the cursor here and just right click and it will basically select that word for me. So just right click on any word and it will select that word and also show the menu. So you can see also by using the left key, you can double tap on any word to select it or you can triple tap to select the complete row, just like that, triple tap on the mouse key and it will completely select all of the row. One of the coolest things that you can do with your mouse is just tap on any key to wake up the screen of the iPad and then just drag the mouse just like that and it will unlock the device as easy as that. So that's pretty cool. Now let's move on to some settings. I will show you guys some pretty cool settings and some pretty cool stuff that you can do with your mouse on your iPad by of course configuring its settings. Now, first of all, when you have a mouse or a trackpad connected to your iPad, it will show you this menu right here on the general settings. If you don't have it connected, this menu won't be here at all. So trackpad and mouse, if you go there, you can just choose the tracking speed here. You have natural scrolling, you can turn that on or off, and then you can choose your secondary click from here. So right or left, whichever you want. And if you go to accessibility, then right here, you will find pointer control. So if you go here, you can basically increase the contrast, you can change how fast it will disappear. So the control basically the pointer, and then you will have the color as well. So you can choose basically a size for the border of the mouse right there. So you can just change it right here. And you will have of course, different colors to choose from. Now, some of the most interesting settings are found under touch. So if you go to accessibility and you go to touch, you will have here assistive touch. So for this, you will need to turn on assistive touch. But what you can do is turn it on. And then you can just go ahead and 
disable here always show menu so it won't show the assistive touch menu and from here what you need to do is go to devices when you go to devices you will find the name of your device right here tap on it so that will be the name of the mouse that you have connected and here you will have additional buttons so with the new mouses you of course have like additional buttons this one has the one on the middle the scroll wheel which is also a button and it has two others on the side right here which you can use for like something else now with these options what you can do is just go to one of the buttons so let me just go ahead and delete these completely so i will show you from the beginning how that thing is done so just remove these so what you need to do here is just tap on customize additional buttons and from here you will be able to basically add new buttons to your device so you can see right here we have button 5 and i can choose whichever one of these actions i want to perform with that button so here we have screenshot if i want to add like another one i can just go ahead and tap right there and now you need to press the button which you're using so let's tap right there on the scroll wheel so with this i will choose let's say the control center and then i will have a second one right here another one so let's choose this one what i want to do with this one is go to the home screen so now i have here control center home and screenshot so if i use this button right here it just takes a screenshot of my device i can tap right here on the other one to quickly go to the home screen i can double tap it to go to the app switcher that of course is very useful or i can press right there to go to the control center press right here again to go to the home screen and just like that i can use the additional buttons to easily perform some really really useful actions with my pointer basically with my mouse so you can see right here if we go to one of them you will have quite a large menu of things that you can do so you will have all the scroll gestures dual controls you will have series shortcuts so you can basically launch any of your series shortcuts using your buttons on the mouse so that's pretty pretty useful make sure if you have a mouse with additional buttons that you take use of this because of course it will be very useful so that's pretty much it for this video Video guys these are some tips and tricks that you need to know regarding the new mouse the new cursor with ipad os 13.4 so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one